What's good, y'all? Master Sutter here. Ah, we are back. The reason I'm doing this video like this instead of using my clean ass tripod to get a good view is no reason whatsoever. I'll be right back. <laughs> I actually like to see the whole thing. What's good, y'all? Master Sutter here. Ah, quick thing about Fire Force. Yes, I dropped a BNA video the other day. No comments, barely any views. So obviously, y'all wasn't with that. If you want to just hit my Fire Force and hit some Fire Force. Straight up, right? I have dove into season two. However, I'm not caught up to season two. I am, but I'm not. I am caught up to the English dub of Fire Force. Episode six. Unbeknownst to me, there's nine episodes out. So, yeah. Straight up, not caught up. But this is where I'm at now. Guys, I'm watching the dub of Fire Force. I don't intend to watch the sub. I'm going to be three episodes behind the whole time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Plus, I won't be covering it weekly, so whatever, right? So, yeah. This actually might be the last Fire Force video you get for a minute. So, I'm going to have to figure out something else to entertain the nights. But thoughts on Fire Force Season 2 so far? Unfortunately, I have not seen the whole, I guess, big villain role that has people, you know, switching sides. At least, hopefully, I have it, because so far, what I've seen here, it's kind of more or less the same from Season 1 when it came to the whole villain stuff. Especially with that pink hair girl, bruh. I want to know where her dad is at in her life. Because she needs that belt. But anyways. Straight up, y'all. When it comes to this thing, right? Most of the stuff for 5, 4, Season 1 is still very much in Season 2. And, yeah. But they didn't really dread on anything in 5, 4, Season 1. I mean, yes, the whole day we're still on the same mission. Supposed to get the advantage of this. Wipe that shit out. Bring show back and all that stuff. But you know, now we know about more about the pillars and all that stuff because we already got three that we know of. So it's like, anyways, <laughs> I have to admit though, my favorite episode so far coming out of this thing has to be the one where the crazy blonde woman that apparently is supposed to be Iris. Oh, she looks like Iris. I know it's not Iris. Come on now. But she's going to his mind trying to control him, make him become a devil. And that whole thing, right? He's been building up that frustration all this time. And it could just be the thing like he's trying to suppress it over and over and over again. But first of all, that would just make him easy to go from bleach. And second to go of all, I do admit, I have to like the fact that why he was fighting the big black dude with the white hair, who's a gangster, by the way. He decided in that somewhere in that fight that he was just gonna be like, you know what? If I have to keep doing this thing with the devil anyways, I'll be a devil. I'm just gonna be the devil that whoops evil ass. Heroic devil. In this world, all devils ain't the same. But you know something, man? Outside of that, I. <coughs> excuse me, y'all. Corona. Outside of that, I have to admit, all the characters, when it came to their come ups in the series, besides Tomiki, still don't like him, sorry. It is, actually feels like it's getting more and more in Fire Force now. Because really, we came to that last conference we just did episode, up to episode 6. Shiva was not able to save Pink Bitch. But at the same time, he still figured out the rock and roll thing. And he's still coming up with that. And now, even though I kind of missed a little bit of this in my last video, they did talk about, you know, the whole Dolan Link thing that Shiva had with the Evangelist. The black dude brought that up. But either way, Shiva was still able to get those get some powers anyways. Not the same powers, but he was still able to power himself up in a tough fight. So what I said in the last episode, still stands, player. Like I said, stop hating on Shiva. But here's the thing. An optimal hold up on that blind bitch. And like I said in my last video as well, I have done the 180. I've done the 180. I see what people talk about. That's right. I'm an Arthur fan now. Arthur is still getting in. Like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's something I'm noticing about the whole thing with Arthur now. Maybe even at points he doesn't take out the big threat that's in front of him, but they can't do nothing to him. Now that crazy woman from last season that was going up against Arthur, what did she do? Freaking nothing. Oh, you the same guy. Matter of fact, she knew the truth when she rolled on him. She just didn't know how much the truth got real. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you find the truth just to look for something even more truthful. You know what I'm saying? That's all. Even though he's a fake ass knight. But anyways, <laughs> what was he, a samurai knight one time? Or a knight samurai? 
Samurai Knight. Samurai Knight. But man, that whole day with Tom will give me an assistant now. Ugh. That is kind of a conflict. Not even talking about Tom King right now. But the way they send, they was they was criticized by the way they send these infernos to rest before they take them out, and that definitely became a problem here because they didn't have enough sisters. So what were they gonna do? Let the city burn or just start taking out infernos without blessing them? Now here's the thing, right? Of course, more sisters were able to show show themselves and actually was able to help them out when blessing these infernos. But at the same time, I would have liked to see where that went because to me, I think they would just chose to take out their infernos anyways. Even if they can't send them without a prayer. Like Homeboy with the guns was about to do anyways. Because there is things in the Fire Force that have, we have seen with the whole Vulcan conflict that is flawed. Not necessarily incorrect or wrong, but flawed. And it's easy to mess that up with that mentality. Like with the sisters thing. Especially with Tamaki. I was admit though, that was kind of funny. Because we wouldn't want to see these in front of those blessed to the other life of a half naked nut. <laughs> It is good that there is some more conflict in there. If I had to take the take the choice, the answer is yes. I don't care. Send them off with some titties. Dave Chappelle style. But you know. So yeah. But the cracks in the Fire Force system is, is, is nothing new. Especially since the whole thing with o Obi. 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 Having to go to what's his face. Actually for him to get the other companies helping, helping this. First of all. He kind of went about that the wrong way, in my opinion, because I know he wanted all the helps because he's going to need everybody helps to beat the Avengers in the first place, which is the smart thing to do. At the same time, you already got Company 7, Company 3, and you're about to have Company 4 backing you in the first place. That's half the companies right there. Forget all this permission stuff. Just hit these guys up and like, is you in or not? Ribbana's going to be like, hell yeah. Homeboy from the 7 is going to be like, hell yeah. The four, old fourth dude that's apparently a fire master kid, didn't see that coming, to be honest. But... He's going to be right in there as well. That dude for the first is sucking. He's going to still be pissed the rest the whole series. But, you know, you already got the, half the companies right there. That's how I say we roll into this. Because apparently it's company discretion in the first place, right? Let's go to your homies and tell them to pull up. <laughs> Instead of waiting for the system, to, for the problem to become too big for the system to ignore. <laughs> Forget that. You already decided we're going to handle it anyway, right? But, you know. Like I said, cracks in the Fire Force system is nothing new. But, uh, when it comes to season two so far, I mean, I dig it. I seen the homeboy Oka Montgomery. And I gotta be real, I've not seen the realness of the last next couple episodes yet. So I'm still gonna be late behind that stuff. But Crunchyroll on Twitter has been posting some things. All I'm gonna say, and I can see why homeboy Kami Budo likes him. Anyways, with that being said, five, four seasons two so far, off the chain. Now, when it comes to you know the whole going to the what was it the Chinese Peninsula that thing, I'm mad they didn't get bring the whole crew. <laughs> and we got one, the big homeboy dude. What was that Dragon or something they called him? We got him. We got the crazy science dude with the fro. I'm sorry, I'm bad with names. Y'all know this. We brought Tom Key. I, mean, I, mean, I think we know why we brought her. <laughs> of course, Shima, Arthur, Old Gun. And we're going to see where that goes. And Obi. We're going to see where that goes. But here's the thing, right? Why aren't y'all bringing Maki? <laughs> I got to be real. Like I said, I, I said my piece on his bottom like, when it came to season one. But first of all, she only had, what, two scenes in the season so far? Maki's still holding down his best girl. Y'all try to bring up Tamaki. They, they, they are trying, but it's not working for me. I mean, yeah, I appreciate the occasional fan service, but I can get that from other means. Like, it doesn't have to be Tomki. If Tomki showed up, the fan service was much better coming. Anyways, who knows? They turned things around for Arthur. They might turn things around for Tomki for me. Who knows? Anyways, they didn't plan to edit this video. It's almost 10 minutes, so let me go ahead and get about it. Thoughts on season two so far. We're going to get into the real shit in the next couple of weeks. If you watch this video, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Like this video for me, and I'll see y'all. Maybe what I said earlier about being a wild for Fire Force video might not be true. Because maybe I just took talk on big events in this show. And the way this season's going, that's going to happen a lot. Matter of fact, we're out of big prediction. See y'all next week.